Hi, I'm John Herman, and I'm here with Danielle Herman, Tatiana Hoyle, Claire Garand, and Gwen Wilson. We're here at the American Independence Festival. Uh, we're the Vlog Squad, and we're interviewing New Hampshire residents about the presidential primary. And, and first of all, what is your name? Herb. Herb, and where, um, sorry, and what is your political affiliation? Independent. And what do you think of the, the current candidates? I don't think a lot of the Democratic candidates. They're okay. all blue. Okay. The Republican candidates, a couple of them aren't bad, mm -hmm. you know. But I would vote for Thompson if, if mm -hmm. Tom, uh, Thompson, uh, in the primary I'll vote for Thompson. Mm -hmm. And if he uh, doesn't, if he doesn't get nominated, then I'll vote for Romney. And if he doesn't get nominated, I might not vote. <laughs> <laughs> what about Thompson do you like? Um, I like his conservatism. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My name is Maureen Nagel. I'm a registered Democrat. And the only person I'm really interested in right now for presidency is uh, Chris Dodd from Connecticut. Mm -hmm. To me, he's a statesman. He's got the experience, which the other candidates don't have. And um, he's got a strong moral compass, in my opinion, as to what he can do for the country. I don't think he's getting near enough media attention. Um, everybody's focusing on Hillary, Obama, and John Edwards. But um, I think we should really take a strong look at Chris Dodd and, and see what kind of a good man he is, and he'd make an excellent president. I'm Ross Jardis. Um, I'm conservative, and I'm a McCain fan, but he's probably going to wash out, so I'm probably going to go for Romney. Hi, my name is Karen Courier. I do have a political affiliate, but it changes with the wind. <laughs> and the current crop of candidates are a mixed bag. Man, Mr. Uh, Governor Richardson's ads on TV have been awesome. I like them. They're very humorous. He's done a good job. He's certainly got the qualifications. But being a woman and a feminist, I really like Hillary, too. So. May the best person win. Very good. <laughs> it is your name, political affiliation, current menu. What do you think of the presidential candidates? Well, I'm David O'Connor, and this is Loretta Salazar. And political affiliation, I am not a huge fan of the current two-party, in quotations, one-party system. I think it's uh, been one of the causes of a lot of the problems going on in the country at the moment because there aren't any true choices. Uh, I think people are uh, too geared towards the um, perpetuation of what exists now and uh, the power bases and uh, um, that the system is currently run by profit money and uh, personal gain rather than for the benefit of society as a whole. Uh, Loretta might... Uh... Well, I'm um, Loretta Salazar and I'm an independent and um, I do have a little hope with some of the candidates. Obama looks really good to me. I think we really need some new fresh ideas. Uh, people coming from a different direction, uh, not just the old what we've had for four years and, and before then. So um, I'm hoping that there is some promise and that uh, some of the candidates like Obama will will give us an opportunity to, to be able to improve our situations. Hi, my name is David Burdick and I'm a resident of Portsmouth. And uh, I guess the questions are the slate of candidates and I think they're very broad on both sides, but I think the country needs that now because we need a lot of we need to have a lot of choices. Um, I, I don't think the primary system, the way it works now, is going to to help us uh, get the best choice. But uh, we'll definitely a year from now we'll we'll have a very clear opinion of who our two choices are for president. Thanks. Thank you. <clears throat> My name is Deb Staples, and I'm an independent, and I really haven't given much thought to the political scene as of yet because it's too far away I think. Brad Mungin, um, I'm a Democrat and uh, I don't know there, there are a lot of candidates I, 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 uh, I'm having problems you know seeing a lot of differences between them um, right now I would think for me the, the front runners in my mind are Barack Obama and, and Hillary Clinton and uh, I'm leaning towards Obama um, 
I just think there are strong feelings in both directions with Hillary Clinton, and um, a lot of people have demonized her, and it's affected other people's opinions of her. And I also worry about the whole, like, you know, being in politics for so long and the ambition. Um, Barack Obama seems to have a little less of that, so that's basically how I feel. I'm in Baskerville. I'm a proud independent, and I think we have a wonderful crop of candidates to choose from. And it definitely is going to be an interesting choice this year. And next year, I guess it is, too. Do you know who, you, do you have anyone in mind so far? Well, I have to say, Hillary is very interesting, which is kind of a flip for me, because I was not a great Hillary fan before, but um, I think she's holding up well. And I know Barack Obama was here on the seacoast very recently, so, you know, there's still a lot of opportunity for New Hampshire voters to get to know the candidates. We're very blessed that way. So I still have an open mind. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And who, what's your name? So just, are you ready for Hi, my name is Gretchen LaFasso, and where do I live? Is that the other question? Okay. I live in Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh, I, my political affiliation, I'm Democrat, and I like all the top runners in the Democratic Party. I wish they could all work together and uh, form one kind of group presidency. Work together. So that's my opinion. Thank you. Thanks. My name is Dennis Power. I'm, a, I'm from Exeter. I'm a Democrat, and I think the I think uh, it's nice to see all the candidates. It's of course too early. Um, I, you know, we're starting the process way too early. Um, nobody really stands out. The only one that really stands out to me is uh, is Mitt Romney, who I just it's bizarre how how he's flip flopped on issues. Um, all the others all the others seem pretty forthright, and they're good strong candidates. And I think it's a wide open race. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm Chris, and I'm Democratic, very liberal. Um, so far, I'm probably going to vote for either Kucinich or Obama. Um, I like both of their policies. I like Kucinich because he's really liberal, and um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm Brittany, I'm a Democrat, and I'm also for Kucinich and Obama, and I'm kind of on the fence about Hillary. So, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'm an independent, and uh, um, the only thing I have to say about the uh, candidates is that uh, uh, my criterion is that if they were for that immigration bill, they've lost my vote. But if I were to vote today, uh, I would probably go with Rudy Giuliani, just based on his uh, track record.